hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel okay so in this video we'll quickly look at this uh, very nice example which is a question from one of our students on this channel so it says that we should uh, uh, we are given a polynomial f of x which is equal to x squared plus ax plus b you know to be um, you know be divided by two polynomials Okay, so it was first divided by 2x plus 1, and then later divided by x minus 3. Now, when it was divided by 2x plus 1, the polynomial gave a remainder, and when it was divided by x minus 3, it became a factor, so the remainder became 0. And so we are now asked to find the value of a and b that will bring about this, and then we should factorize the polynomial after we've gotten the value of a and b. So what do we do? We bring down our polynomial and then start interpretation. So we are giving x squared. Now, uh, by remainder theorem, remainder theorem says that uh, if I divide a polynomial by a linear factor or a linear, um, yeah, a linear, let's, let me just call it a linear factor, and uh, that if I want to know what the remainder is, that all I need to do is to equate that the divisor to zero and then make x the subject of the formula, which if I do in this case, I will get x as 1 over 2. Okay, so that if I substitute my x as 1 over 2 into the original function, that I should get whatever is the remainder. Okay, so that's uh, what we are going to apply. Okay, so now doing that now, if I put uh, x as 1 over 2, I'm going to have 1 over 2 all squared. Okay, so what that means is that I can easily get that this is going to give me 1 over 4 and then plus a all over 2 and that is plus b. Now, remember we said that this is going to be equal to your remainder. And what is our remainder? Our remainder is negative 25 all over 4 as given here. Okay, so it's given here. All right, so now our job now, you can see what it means is that from here we can actually form an equation, a linear equation in A and B. Okay, so let's quickly do that. And we can do that by multiplying through with 4, the LCM, to clear the denominators. And if we do that, if I multiply here by 4, I will get 1. If I multiply this one by 4, I will get 2A. If I multiply B by 4, I will get 4B. And while on the right-hand side, we'll just have negative 25. So if we now... Uh, take the one to the other side we'll have and then if we factorize two here we are going to have two into a plus two b is equal to negative 26 and so what it means is that from here i can get that my a plus two b is equal to negative 13 if i divide both sides by two so I can call this equation 1, right? Now, from here, we can also get another equation, which we can use to now solve simultaneously to get our A and B. And how do we do that? Now, we'll make use of the second information, which tells us that when the same polynomial, this, was divided by x minus 3, that it that x minus 3 is a factor and if it is a factor it means that the remainder is zero okay so in other words we then apply remainder theorem in the form of factor theorem which says that if i substitute if i do the same x minus 3 equal to zero and then get my x as 3 then if i substitute my x as 3 which is going to be 3 squared so since the remainder in this case is 0, it means I should have 0. So what it means is that 9 plus 3a plus b is actually equal to 0 because it's a factor. 
So in that case, if I take my 9 to the other side, I will have that 3a plus b is equal to negative 9. So, of course, this becomes our equation 2. So if we bring down equation 1 here, we can actually keep it below if you want. So we can have a plus 2b to now be equal to minus 13. So I can keep it below and then solve, right? So and to solve, uh, we can use the elimination method. And to use the elimination method, let's try to make um, our A. That's assuming we want to get B. So that means we can choose to multiply uh, this by 2 and then multiply this by 1. Okay, so when we do that, we are now going to get our equations to be uh, this. The first equation will now become 6A plus 2b. So if we do a subtraction, it means we are going to have 6a minus a will give us 5a. 2b minus b will be 0. And that is equal to minus 18 minus minus 13. So that's going to now be minus 18 plus 13, and which is going to give us negative 5. So from here, it is obvious that our A alone is equal to negative 1. And so from that, it means that we can quickly get our B by substituting A into any of the equations. Okay, so let's make use of this equation since the coefficient of B is 1. So that means our B will be equal to negative 9 minus 3A. And so if we substitute, we are going to have minus 9 minus 3 multiplying minus 1 and that will be minus 9 plus 3 which is equal to negative 6 as our a and b so therefore <clears throat> for the first question our a is uh, negative 1 and our b is negative 6 okay so we've been able to answer the first question that asks us to find the values of A and B, all right? So what it means now is that to now, uh, to factorize completely, now it means that our function or polynomial in general will be X squared. If you put your A, which is negative one, that will be minus X. And then if you put B, which is negative six, you have minus six is equal to zero. So to factorize this completely, we can do two things. Now, we have already been told that x minus 3 is a factor. So that means we need just the remaining factor. Since it's a quadratic equation, it will have only two factors. Okay, and so to get the other factor, I can actually decide to solve this by factorization or I will just divide this by x minus 1, either of the two will give us the solution. So uh, maybe I should try the two. Okay, so let me divide. So if I divide x squared minus x minus 6 by x minus 3, so x, you of course, you know you are going to use this to divide. So x into x squared will be x, and then x times x will give us x squared and then x times minus 3 will give us minus 3x. So we subtract. And when we do that, this we go. Minus x minus minus 3 is going to give us minus x plus 3x. And that is going to be 2x. So x can go into 2x and that will give us plus 2. Now 2 multiplying this will be 2x. And 2 multiplying negative 6 will be negative 6. So if we bring down this, which is 6, or negative 6 here, and if we subtract, you will see that this will be 0, 0. So it means that the other factor is x plus 2, which is what we got up here. Okay, so, and then um, it means that the complete factorization, which is the second question, is uh, x minus 3 into x plus 2 for the polynomial uh, f of x, okay? And like I said, you can also choose to uh, solve this by quadratic factorization. 
which we can do here. Remember, you will multiply your A by B, and if we multiply 1 here by, uh, sorry, A by C, if we multiply 1 by minus 6, we'll have minus 6. So we are looking for two numbers, uh, two factors of minus 6 that you will sum to get negative 1, which is the coefficient of X. So, and the two factors are um, your, of course, minus 3 and plus 2. Okay, so if you do minus 3 times 2, you get minus 6. If you add the 2, you get negative 1. Okay, so remember what I said. Just open your bracket and put your X, okay? All right, so, and then you are going to add the two factors you got. Okay, so equate this to 0. So that means, um, okay, of course, that is your factorization. They are not asking us to get the values of X. So, and this is exactly what we got here. So any of the methods is enough. So we've been able to get the solution to the two problems or the two things we are asked to find, A and B, and the complete factorization of your F of X. All right, and that is what I said to show us in this video in response to the question from one of us on this channel. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do give a thumbs up to this video. We will see you in our next video. Bye.